So in here, basically, I think I spent about three hours here. I wanted to make sure that I got covered and look through everything on the first floor because when you go in, the first floor is actually full of this uh, stationery and fountain pens and pens in general. And all the paper goods are on the first floor. Or actually, no, they moved it to the lower level. So it's not the ground level, but I think it was in the basement. Um, so yeah, so this is everything that I got from there. Um, I might have left some things out because I already started using it. But most of the things are still here and um, I'll just go over them. So, okay, so I did make two trips, I believe, to Loft. Some items are tax free, so you can get your money back at the tax free counter on, I believe, the sixth floor. And here is one of the notebooks I got, which is the Roll Bond notebooks i actually had my on this um because i kept seeing it in instagram or on instagram and this is from delphonics it's just really cute and this is like an undated um planner or notebook it's actually just a notebook and it it has like all these uh, refills inserts that you can add to it right there and this is the pencil board. And then this one is a divider, I believe. And I thought it was cute. So I got that. So basically you buy these and then you just add it in to uh, the notebook itself. So I don't want this video to get too long. So It's uh, basically cream pages, you can see that. And this was uh, also in the notebook section and it's really cute. And basically has all these like cute, um, even like fountain pen illustrations and nibs and plants and cats throughout this planner. And it's undated notebook where you can just like, write the uh, date on the left and just journal on the right. And I thought it was really cute, so I picked that up. Let's see. And as you can see, I got another smaller notebook. What else is in here? Got some pens. So I got a smaller version of this diary and this one I believe is dated. Where that one was just a notebook. And so it has this like beautiful latte picture on it. And then there's like a monthly and then more monthlies and then you get in and then when you get into the notebook it's actually just grid paper cream and then at the back there's some leaflets or folders pockets and then another cardboard here um, and that's it so I thought this would would be like a nice pocket planner with months and I don't know how I'm going to use this yet but um, I'm definitely going to be utilizing this for next year and it's cute it's called the diary and there's another there's a robot bookmark here I think this fits on uh, on the small one and on the big one as well so I got that um, and then I got some index clips because I thought like, you know, to get the bronze color because I do have the silver one and I picked up two um, of these in index uh, tab stickers because I thought I would use them in like my uh, Hobonichi Weeks. Oh, and then I did pick up this Robon, 
I guess, um, what do you call these? Roblon uh, template. So this is, uh, will also, I think, fit in both sizes. This would fit in the small one and also the bigger one, I believe. Yes, it does. Okay, cool. So I got all of those tabs and then when it comes to this this is the uniball one and I just I guess wanted to pick up some refills because I was pretty low on my current pens and I also picked up this gray uniball one pen because I thought it was you know cute and that's to go together and then this one was is a Uni Jetstream 0.7 um, pen, and I don't remember what it's called, but the color is coral, as it says right there. And I thought it was a nice, cute uh, pink color, muted pink. And then this is interesting. This is the Friction Uni Ball, or no, Friction Ball uh, erasable pen. And I've never come across one like this because it's so thin and like kind of like smaller, not exactly like a pocket pen, but it feels like a pocket pen. And yeah, and it this is what is this? This is in I believe 0 0.5. Not sure, but I don't know. I just thought it was really cute, and I think it would fit really well with um, my pocket TN, just like kind of like slotted in between the pages or something because it's so thin so I thought that would be very good and then this is the friction refill so 0 0.5 refill for for this and um, I believe I bought one more pen this is the friction point knock biz pen and 0 0.4 I couldn't find a 0 0.5 or yeah I have the 0 0.7 or 0 0.5 of the white one and I've been really enjoying that pen a lot which I purchased on Amazon Japan like a year ago or something maybe two years ago and uh, I've always thought you know I like the black one would go with my other notebooks better um, and I really like it this is um, rose gold and black so um yeah so i can't wait to use it it has like this marbly texture to it um and you know everything is cheaper in japan so i'm like i'm going to pick this up because i wanted always wanted a black one so and i believe that is all the pens that i got from loft i also picked up this uh, hello small things from Eric the illustrator um, and this is for for the 2024 calendar stamp and illustration um, yeah so they already had this out way back when it went in September so I just had to pick it up and um, I can't wait to you know set it up on my desk or on the wall and um, at Loft, I also picked up this MD like measuring tape. And you can see it won the Good Design Award. And I, well, obviously can't read it, but I don't know. I'm not going to open it, but it says extra small. And I thought it was cute and I can easily, you know, access this like put it on my desk or my pencil case because I keep measuring things so hopefully this is in what is it centimeters okay yeah centimeters so I'm fine with that so I got that then I went back and I purchased some more stickers like sticker sheets because I didn't see that section very well so I went back and did another day and picked up some sticker sheets uh, some I'm already using um, but I saw this uh, cute retro flower. Um, this is, I believe, a stick on. So it's a sticker. They had so many. I don't know why I only picked up one. 
but I was really trying to limit myself. Um, and then they had another die cut section. And this is a really cute uh, sticker of the cream melon soda. And I really enjoyed this drink there, so definitely had to pick this up. I'm like totally obsessed now. Um, and then this is a cute stamp Kita tape that it got that looks like stamps. And then some cozy stickers here. So I just didn't have much time, so I just uh, picked up, you know, the stuff that really caught my eye. And these are just too cute. So picked up this uh, little cute pocket folder sort of thing. It's from F L A T T Y Works from King Jim. Uh, that's the brand slim and handy to use it says it is a back pocket and honestly I just I think I had FOMO so um, I picked this up uh, and it's for the a6 diary it fits in there but it's also for keys and anything else and it's so cute and I love this color they had one in like green oops there's like dust right there um but it's like a magnetic closure and it has like this really cute clear pocket and um, mine's a little dusty but I don't know what to use it for but I thought it would fit like a Hobonichi A6 perfectly and maybe like uh, some stickers and it's gusseted so I don't know like I'm not sure what to use this for um, but it's really cute so that's pretty much all the stuff that I got at, um, at Loft and I really tried to limit myself and I, I'm i happy with everything I got because it's like a lot of the stuff I got is pretty functional and I don't think I got too much of anything and um, it was very hard to kind of like um, say, okay, I'm only getting the stuff that I'm really going to use and that's the mindset I went in with and this is what I came out with. So. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, let me know down below, but uh, this is definitely um, one of my top places I recommend uh, that you have to check out and give yourself enough uh, time, maybe like a few hours, because there's way too many things, um, way too many stationery that you're going to have to, you know, make. I made about like 10 rounds, like on the on the stationary level just to make sure I didn't miss anything um, and I gave myself enough time to do this so so let me know if you guys have any questions but uh, I hope this video isn't too long if it is too long I'll just end it here uh, so thank you so much and um, I will see you guys next week